say so? Rack it up, rack it up, I gotta build up the bank to make me a safe house Shake it up, shake it up, she got her hands on her knees and she bringing the cake out Smoke it up, smoke it up, I got some gas, some packs, I'm up in the greenhouse Ball it up, ball it up What's up guys? Um, I had a really difficult time to try to show you guys something, to make a video about anything. Uh, I think I decided to do the muscle pass and I looked it up, I saw quite a few people already have tutorials out there, but I still do find a few magicians have a tough time with this move. And I, I don't know why, it's really not that difficult. I think uh, the thing that made it much easier for me is that I actually use poker chips for this. These are the perfect size to place it in your palm and to shoot it up. Uh, I've seen some people, I, I don't know how, they can actually do it with a half dollar, which is extremely difficult for me. I, I can't do it. Actually, I think this is a scotch and soda. I'd say the best coin to do this with, if you were to use a coin, is a Eisenhower coin. Uh, literally, I went to Phantasma one day and some kid literally just gave it to me. He said, do you want this? And just gave it to me. Uh, that's, sadly, that's, that's, that's the whole story. <laughs> I don't know why he gave it to me. But yes, um, an Eisenhower or a poker chip. But I would say this is much easier to do it with. I also, I bought these like almost a decade, like 2011, I bought all of these here uh, from Rite Aid, I think for like five bucks. And this has lasted me almost a decade and I still have quite a few left. I've used all the red ones and all the black ones cause you will drop and lose these practice on the smooth. Also with the poker chips, if you drop it enough or you hit it, or like if you slam it against the ground, this would actually break. Uh, quite often that's why you're better getting off a whole set with these and they're, they're very, extremely cheap super super cheap also I think it's much easier with a poker chip because these are a lot lighter than this massive coin here these um, the Eisenhower is very I don't know, actually the coin the uh, poker chip slightly bigger than the Eisenhower and also the coin is a little, tiny bit thicker but they're completely smooth and rounded well this has a jagged edge i've been told by some people that they do gain a callus right here in their palm by performing this trick i've been doing this trick for like like i said like almost like eight nine ten years and i've never mm, didn't develop anything right here at all i think because they're using coins or they're going way too rough with it uh so I'm gonna go down to like the basic moves of the muscle pass. <laughs> so I'm gonna go over the basic moves of the muscle pass. So it's basically you're taking it here, taking it here, putting it to palm, and you just shoot it up just like that. And the farther the distance, the better the trick looks. That's the hardest part with this trick is trying to catch it. I, sometimes I still have problems with it. If I focus it <laughs> enough, I could get it. And you want it to go straight up. You don't want it to divert from that straight vertical line that is going up. So just like that, you want to look like it's a magnet attaching to it. But uh, to break it down, to make it easier for you, uh, you're going to put it here. You put it to palm, goes here. You're shooting it up with the muscle right here. So I'm gonna take it down here to make it much easier for you guys to understand. All right, guys, we're in crotch cam mode. We're in uh, the uh, the no-no zone right down here. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna get yourself a poker chip or a coin uh, this around this, roughly the same size, like an Eisenhower, but I would suggest this. So what the move is, you're gonna balance it on your middle finger here. And you're gonna put it to palm. So if I were to bring that break that down take it here balance it and you're just going to twist your hand in and all you're doing it's really tough to do this but you're just placing it in like that this is all you're doing it's hard to do slow but if you twist it in you just put it inside your palm and the way that you're holding it it's just with the fat the muscle part of your thumb and this end of your pinky so it's just these two ends here it's kind of like with the um like the the hand palm like how it's really just like the bottom of your thumb here and the tip of your pinky is holding it 
it's kind of like just both ends of your pinky and your thumbs holding it and you should be able to just relax your hand just like that and like move your hand and uh i've heard I, i've tried this also the best way to um practice uh this i think it's called the classic palm you like you could sit down and you could write with your hand with a coin still palm sometimes i used to do that in school but take it here you palm it actually i'm gonna do it slower for you guys take it you put it into palm sometimes you want to extend your thumb out a little bit just like that so you want to take it here extend that thumb out come here and so what you want to do here now is that you have all this muscle under here all this flesh and you don't want it flat you want it to protrude like at a 45 like a 45 to like a 40 degree angle like this way and you want to force it down with your thumb the fat part of your thumb is going to force it in there it's just going to force it and this part of your pinky is going to push up and as it is kind of building the tension here it's kind of like a card spring just all in your palm this is forcing this way this is going this way so it's creating all that tension on that one coin and you're just gonna, just gonna pop right at your hand that's why it's called a muscle pass because you're building the muscle right in this area here just like that yeah it's it's not too difficult the, yeah, like I said earlier, the one thing you want to practice is getting it into the other hand. That's the most difficult part. Also, I would say don't go too hard. I would say practice this for a while. Also, try to practice it one-handed, just like that, just to get the uh, muscle part of it down. But you don't want to force it too much. You don't want to perform this trick way too fast because one of the things that I did uh, when I was in high school, I had a history teacher that was very skeptical. You don't want to perform it like that because when you're going like this, when you're flicking your hand in like this and going like that, they're thinking you're flipping the coin up with your middle finger. That's obviously not the method, but it does look like that's what you're doing because you are flicking it up, but it's not with the part that they're thinking. It's just all in the thumb. You don't. You just want to go. All right. So I'm gonna take this coin here, and you want to get in that palm pretty fast. So like, or you could do it. I can patter like I'd be talking to somebody, and like gesture my hands like this, put it into palm, and then shoot it up just like that. Like so again. So I'm gonna talk like this. We'll put it into classic palm just like that. The oh, god damn it. Put it to palm just like that. You just want to squeeze it. And try to get it straight up to look like a magnet and you don't want to sh do it too fast it's gonna go over people's heads you want to give it like about a, like a medium squeeze like a when you get good enough you want to squeeze it just enough to get it out of there because you don't want to go pew, shoot right up you just want to take it just let it float up just like that you want to make it look like it's floating and not like a magnet or something because these are magnetic if someone had something magnet magnetized you could probably think that's what the method is but now you want to just have it just like that. All right, so for watching the end of this video, I have a little bonus for you. So um, you could do this as a whole routine with both of them back to back. So what the move is, is that you could take the coin here. You could actually borrow any coin you want and just take it and just like bend it out a little bit, but it's actually still a solid coin, just like that. This actually fools a lot of people uh, that I showed this to. <laughs> Sometimes I do it as a one-off gag. Uh, the method is basically what I'm doing to you. I'm not doing anything. I'm just literally, I'm rocking. I'm taking it here. So thumbs on both ends here, uh, middle finger and forefinger on both hands on each side. And it's a little bit easier to show you this way. I'm just pushing it in and my f fingers, like the tips of my fingers are rolling on the top and the uh, middles of my thumbs are just rolling on it just like that. So it's rolling in, rolling out, rolling in, rolling out. And you don't wanna move it like this. You just wanna move your wrist in and out. It's that in and out and your thumbs rolling against it. Looks like the whole thing's just curving in on itself just like that. So you just wanna take it. Like you wanna make it a one-off thing like, oh yeah, you know these coins aren't really that real. Just take it like that. Just 
drop it right back onto the table. Uh, to put these tricks together, you could say like, oh yeah, I can take one of these coins here, make a shoot up, and the reason why it shoots up is because these are actually a rubber coin. It's a rubber coin because I can just bend it just like that. And you can just tell the specter to open her hand, and it turns right back to a real coin. So yeah, you guys should go out there and try to use that. So I would say some tips, uh, try to practice the distance. Don't try to go too far up. Cause if you go too far up, the coin is gonna gain distance and then just, <laughs> it's just gonna plateau. It's just gonna drop down just like this. So it's gonna go up, it's gonna drop. So try to test the distance. So like right there is good. I would say about like a little bit, I would say like a foot and a half should be pretty good out there um yeah also there's some people that would that actually like to go like straight across like they take it here and snap that was really bad you can take it here snap and shoot across just like that so yeah that's honestly one of my favorite tricks here uh yeah you could do it with a poker chip or a big Eisenhower coin or like a Liberty coin. There's also another one called the thumb pass where it's the same exact thing, but you hold it with the tips of your fingers and it shoots back up and I, I cannot perform that. Did I just do it? I got it halfway down. Uh, but that one is also pretty, it's pretty fooling. It fooled me when first time I saw it. He just literally had it. I think it was uh, Peter Hofster. If I pronouncing his name correctly uh he had the coin here just had it here and it shot up looked like his hands didn't even move that move looks a little bit better than the uh, muscle pass in my opinion but i can't do it i tried it and couldn't figure it out well i just did it after like a year of like not trying it anymore <laughs> but yeah uh something quick and simple something you can learn over when you're in quarantine all right guys remember to remember to like and subscribe to my channel and more things like this will pop up and i hope you guys practice this all right see ya